Health experts have raised an alarm over the influx of genetically modified organisms, GMO foods, into the country and the dangers they pose to human health. Our correspondent, Love Ikukoye Doko, reports. During a media training session on agroecology as a viable solution to climate change, the health experts expressed concerns over the increasing use of GMO food products, despite steps taken in terms of policy reviews to discourage the consumption. They maintain that GMO foods have intergenerational implications if not carefully and urgently addressed. Agroecology was a way that Africans used to farm. We farm naturally. We use natural processes. We farm collectively, we farm holistically. We farm in small scales that were not harmful to our environment. We ate food that were healthy to us. We ate natural food to us. It is time to embrace processes that are indigenous to us. It is time for us to look inward. Enough is enough of us looking outward to define who we are. They therefore urged the federal government to ensure full security for all by embarking on enlightenment campaigns. For some products, we see a report of assessment on the National Biosafety Clearing House, and some of it, most of the time, is on the environmental implication or how does the crop interact with other crops. But in terms of how GMOs affect human health in the long run, there is no access, there's no report on that. Some journalists actually did investigation by going around the country to check out how these varieties fare. And one thing that came through by the interview of the promoters of GMOs was that the farmers were not told that they were planting GMOs. And why were they not told? Because the promoters claim that they could not explain it in a way the farmers would understand it. It's time for the government to start looking at what, before the advent of oil, agriculture was the mainstay. Why not spend some time with the people and hear from them and learn from them so that we can actually find solutions to our problems for ourselves. The group called on the National Assembly to place an outward ban on GMO foods in the country as well as stop field trials, commercial release and transborder movement of the products. Where GMOs have failed and governments have withdraw, withdrawn their steps. In Burkina Faso, when BT cotton failed because they were producing poor quality cotton and the country was losing money, the country stopped and returned to the natural varieties. And it was that same failed varieties that were approved in Nigeria. With healthy soils, there will be less needs for these alternatives. But where farmers have to address some of these issues, there are natural means, there are natural, natural methods that can be used. There are inorganic fertilizers. Um, compost over time has been um, shown to be effective, an effective um, um, source of nourishment for, for crops in the farmland. GMO is an organism created in a laboratory by taking genes from one species and forcing them into an entirely unrelated species in order to achieve a new trait or characteristics that is not possible by nature. Love Ikuku Uyedoku, Plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.